Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Potato, and I want to talk about the gameplay today, so you generally won't hear me talk about the gameplay, maybe just quickly introduce it, but this is a 42 and 3, and you know, in this game, I find it hard for me to get a gameplay where I don't get over 5 deaths, and you know, this one was really good, I was playing with two buddies of mine, Stan and Chaos Math, and... At the beginning of the game, there was a host migration, you know, with the little countdown timer, the pre-game timer, whatever it is. Um, and there was a host migration, and usually when that happens, it's for the worse. One guy will four bar the whole game while the other people three and two bar. But it gave us host. Everybody in the lobby was four barring. And I don't know if we were playing bad players. I managed to still die, you know, a couple off the nuclear two times in a row. I was one off my ruthless metal, and I got killed by an EMP grenade. You know, how the hell does that happen? I, you know, I just got the shittiest luck. It's just like when I was playing Free For All, 7 off the nuked out and the game ended. Or, you know, when I came back this game, 2 off the brutal that I've never gotten, and I got killed because I ran out of ammo. And I got the sudden urge in this game to use the LSAT, and I haven't touched LMGs in a couple weeks, maybe a month or so. And the LSAT is a really good gun. It's, it, when you're on a good connection, it's really fucking good. So definitely try out the LSAT or any LMG except the QVB if you haven't before. Uh, the MK, the Hammer, and the LSAT are really good guns, and uh, I definitely advise you to use them. Uh, throw the attachment stock and quick draw on, or if you want to use three attachments, throw on target finder, but uh, the LMGs don't need grip, FMJ, or anything because the clip is big enough, and they don't have any recoil at all, or they have very little recoil. So I want to talk about the game and the gameplay because, like I said, we got that host migration, and... I guarantee you if we didn't have that host migration, things wouldn't have turned out as well as they did. Um, it's generally hard for me and these guys, you know, when I play with them to find a good lobby and get a good host because they're all on the East Coast, I'm in the Midwest, or everybody's kind of spread out throughout the nation and uh, I don't know if it doesn't want to choose, it can't find a host because we're so separated or so far apart, but um, I'm thankful that we got this and if Black Ops 2, if there was no connection issues and you can go back and look at the videos that I've made. I've talked so much crap about the game and talked about how bad it is, but I just get fed up with connection. And generally, connection is the key problem to this game. If there were no connection issues and people were able to play and, you know, the game would run as smooth as it did in this gameplay in the background, nobody would complain about Actually, I take that back. People would still find something to complain about, but, you know, for the most part, the weapons are balanced, the spawns are balanced, except for free-for-all, hijack, and nuketown. Everything's pretty balanced, you know, guns, spawns, except for lag. Lag comp is the only thing that they have yet to fix, unfortunately. And just look at the game, you know, I'm watching this in the background, and it's just so awesome to see how flawless this is and how awesome it is. And for an above-average player like me, someone who plays a lot, you would think that I would do this well quite often, but it's not. It's it's rare that I don't get over five deaths in a game, so that's why I'm proud of this. But for the most part, I, I wish that they would fix connection and lag comp and all that stuff. Because, I mean, the game, is it would be so perfect without it. It would be just like another Modern Warfare 2 without the noob tubes and stuff. It would be perfect. And down in the comments, let me get your guys' opinions on this. Do you guys think without Lag Comp Black Ops 2 would be a perfect game? Or is there problems that you guys have that I didn't mention? So leave that down in the comments. And if we can smash 60 likes in this video, that would be great. You guys are awesome. Thank you for the support on all of my videos. And thank you for clicking that subscribe button. So you guys take it easy. Have a safe one. And I will talk to you later. Peace.